Hey, we're back in Skyrim. Um, I kind of forgot what was going on. Oh, we got to go to the Ratway. Okay. Sorry, lad. I've got important things to do. We'll speak another time. I don't need your shit, Brynjolf. Got lots of jobs available. So, you're Brynjolf's new protege, so, eh? Do don't look think? like much to me. Do you know of an old guy hanging out in Riften? Uh, the name of Easburn. Lot of people looking for him. Absolutely. Don't know his name, oh, really? but he's paid good money for nobody to know he's down here. He's holed up in the Ratway Warrens. Hardly ever leaves the place. Has someone bring him food and such. Crazy old coot from what I've heard. For that to stand out down here, he must really be off his nut. Hmm. So that old guy hiding down here, where does he live? Uh, he's he's holed up in the well. Ratway well, Warrens. Be careful. Else. Okay. the only one looking for him. Ready for some work, or you just... Well, if you like. Hold up in the Warrens, huh? Well, in that case, I think we should be able to find him. I'm wondering if it was really easy to get that information because, uh... I just happen to be the Guildmaster of the Thieves' Guild. I'm sure that would make them more susceptible to... Sure, I heard something. You didn't hear shit. All right. It's all the Thalnor down here. Who's there? Serena, don't go crazy. Taking our time. Damn it, Serena. That was a loud squeaky noise. Man, a bunch of craziness going on down in here. Excuse me. Okay. Let me switch to my invisibility spells. Down here. That was quick. Thanks for the dra distraction, Miss Miss Lady. I guess. It's right up there. I think all of his friends are dead. That's good. Bucket, knife. Go away! Hey, I'm a buddy. What? No, that's not me. I'm not Esbert. I don't know what you're talking about. That's gotta be your name, because the freaking, uh, it says so right there. Delphi? How do you... So you finally found her. And she led you to me. And here I am, caught like a rat in a trap. Delphi needs your help to stop the dragons. Please persuade. So Delphine keeps up the fight after all these years. Sweet. You'd better come in and tell me how you found me and what you want. I'm glad my persuasion yes, skill's yes. really high. Well, this'll just take a moment. Promise. This one always sticks. There we go. <laughs> Only a couple more. Bunch of crazy people down here, man. <laughs> no. All those voices. There we are. Come in, come in. Make yourself at home. Yeah, don't mind my teleporting vampire. Hi, buddy. So, Delphine keeps up the fight after all these years. I thought she'd have realized it's hopeless by now. I tried to tell her years ago. So what do you mean it's hopeless? Haven't you figured it out yet? What more needs to happen before you all wake up and see what's going on? Aldwin has returned just like the prophecy said. The dragon from the dawn of time who devours the souls of the dead. No one can escape his hunger, here or in the afterlife. Alduin will devour all things and the world will end. Nothing can stop him. Ah, 
I tried to tell them. They wouldn't listen. Fools. It's all come true. All I could do was watch our doom approach. Uh, you're talking about the literal end of the world? Oh, yes. It's all been foretold. The end has begun. Aldrin has returned. Only a dragonborn can stop him. But no dragonborn has been known for centuries. It seems that the gods have grown tired of us. They've left us to our fate as the plaything of Aldrin the World Eater. That's not hopeless. I'm a dragonborn. What? You are? Can it really be true? Dragonborn? Then, then there is hope. The gods have not abandoned us. We must, we must, we must go quickly now. Take me to Delphi. We have much to discuss. Okay. That was quick. No, no. Where did I put my annotated annual? So we have to escort him all the way to Riverwood. I guess we do because all the freaking people are going after him. Damn, that sucks. All right. Well, I feel like I'm not gonna be able to sneak this part very well, so maybe I should equip my um, stuff in both hands. Children on my right. Nightingale blade on my left. Here I am, stuck in the middle with you. Well, I guess that's good enough. Let's be off. Okay. Man, he had a ton of locks on the other side of that door. Oh god. Fight club! Actually, I should probably equip my, um... Because I don't have these really jazzed out just yet. Grand Soul Gem, and let's put some stuff in both of them. Man, where are they? Cast your fight! The hell did I pull my swords out for, Serena? You've got this. What the hell? Easburn, you're a badass. <laughs> Just let you go. Damn. Well, we got a zombie Thalnor. That's something. Ink pot, stone, bucket, book, knife. Who are you? Oh, I'm gonna eat well tonight. You my Apparently he was a little crazy. Chef's... Ooh. He thought I was a food. Who the shit are these people, even? Such craziness going on down in here. Can we leave now? I don't like this place. Alright, well, you, you guys can have fun with that. So we got Easburn, a giant elemental, a zombie, and Serena escorting this guy. I really don't think we're going to need the help. It seems to be a bit overkill for me. So let's just leave. <laughs> let's just get out of here. Hope I'm going the right way. Uh, I think we're on the good track. Go up there? Okay. Just keep going around in circles. Oddly enough, I haven't actually explored down here very well yet. Hi there! Nope. Oh, Serena, you might control that guy, didn't you? 
Now this is starting to look familiar. This looks like somewhere I've been before. Alright. <laughs> Random frost elemental. <laughs> oh, that's good. Alright, we're back. Uh, and I'm gonna leave now with all my friends. Excuse me. Okay. You're gonna let me out. Let me out! Let me out! Ah!